Hey everybody out there on YouTube! So today I'm going to show you how I properly put together my Princess Leia wig. A lot of you have asked about it, and I've told everyone like online like how I do it and here and there, but it's hard to get everything together, so I was like, yes, tutorial time! Let's do tutorial time! So to go ahead and start, this is um, an Arda wig, and I will link below exactly the style, but it is a short-haired wig. If you can see from my little wig stand, it's short. And that is key with this Leia wig. I tell you what, it's key, because Arda has a um, wig that I think is called the Leia, and it's just big, two really long ponytails, or really long hair, or it's already in some kind of pigtail. Um, I find this is way, way, way easier. Way easier. Like, take my advice on this, guys. Like, you should do this way. So like I said, this is the a, a short-haired wig. It's a middle part, skin top wig, um, and this is in dark brown. Uh, and the next things for her buns, if you're curious, like Amanda, like, show her buns. Buns, buns, buns. These are the ponytail clips rack, 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 from Arda that are the extra, extra, extra mother frickin' long ones. I can't even fit it in the width of this screen. Okay, hold on, maybe. There we go. It's the really, really long one. I don't know the exact link edge, but it's the really long one. So yes, so you don't just get one of these, you get two! And they don't do a, you know, two for one deal. So this wig, to be honest, cost me about 60 bucks. The base wig and the two ponytail wigs. It's expensive, but I get hell of a lot of use out of it. I wear this wig all the time, obviously, with Leia, and I do a Leia with a lot of charity events. And so this was an investment and a good one at that part. And the good thing is, with the two, you know, ponytail clip-off wigs, you can refix this style a lot because she does get frayed, especially if you're out in the elements and at cons. It's nice to be able to take it down and redo it. And it's so simple to redo it and take it down and everything that it's just like magic, freaking, freaking wig magic. So the first thing you'll want to do is to brush out your wig, like I've been doing right here. Just brush your wig, really easy. I'm just using just a little teasing comb, because that's what I have up here. I'm too lazy to go downstairs. Ah. Brush your wig out nice, make sure it is center parted, like so, and just have that there. So that was really easy. So the next thing I want to tell you guys about is the um, styling products that I use to put the buns up with. Now I keep the clips in the wig. Now that does make it really heavy. I do have some headaches after the end of the day wearing this wig. I shit you not. Um, but I do keep the clips in. Don't take them out. They're pretty prevalent for this type of wig. So what I use for pins, I use the wide pins. It's really hard to tell. Um, they're like just good old-fashioned pins. And now I get all of my styling products off of Amazon because it's the cheapest and it comes in bulk. But that's, these I have a lot of. These are great for this wig. I also use just simple bobby pins, regular ones. And I have these magic pins that are from the brand called Goody and they're extra long styling pins. See how long they are? This is really hard to show you guys. <laughs> but they're really long and they have a lot of ridges on this bottom part right here and they hold style incredibly. I think I talked about this in my Megara tutorial video, but this is what I used to hold up, to hold up her um, ponytail on the top of her head. So it's super, super useful. And the last and I think would most key thing about this wig that I bought, and I actually didn't figure this out until later, whether are um, these spin pins. Now, I got these off of Amazon and they are metal, so they have a little bit of a weight to them. These are the best things ever I was frickin' invented for wig styling. I kid you not. You spin it right into the hair and it's like two pins going straight into the person's skull and it holds all the things and it's wonderful. But anyways, <laughs> you get a whole bunch of these things and it's like magic. You use half as many bobby pins and regular hair pins than you do. Like literally, I held each bun up with like three or four of these, that's it. The other times I would wear Leia, I would hold, I'd have like maybe a dozen hairpins in each button. So it was a lot, a lot of metal, a lot of metal. All right, so after your layer is brushed out, you're gonna want to add the first bun. And I'm not kidding you guys, it's this easy. 
you're literally just gonna attach it, clip it right on her head, and we're gonna spin it around. Now, I can't really show you what I'm doing on this side, um, because you're there and I'm here, so I'm gonna move the camera to my, over my shoulder so you can see what I'm doing. You definitely want to grab that wig cap that's underneath the wig so the clip really locks on. That is key. The bangs, don't really worry about that. I usually either pin them back or try to include them into the clip, but um, as you can see, that one just kind of went into the clip and it worked. Now what I do with Leia's hair is that I spin the ponytail so it keeps the hairs really nice and flat to the bun instead of just going ahead and putting it up in a circle like now. Spinning it will keep all of the fibers in a one big, easy, manageable ponytail to work with. It does take a while to get used to it because you're dealing with a lot of hair. But as you kind of keep going, you get a 10, you get a feel for it, and it goes a lot easier and faster. So basically, once you spin it and place it, add a spin pin right into the groove between the outer ponytail that you did and the existing clip, and try to grasp as much hair and just spin that freaking thing in. And it even disappears. It's so great. strings here just grab a small bobby pin and tuck it underneath and pin away bada bing bada boom one bun you can add a spin or a regular or a, a pin or a bobby pin kind of anywhere you want to see where it's the loosest but that's pretty much it guys not even joking and she's extremely secure bun it's that easy <laughs> Let's do the other side. I got some flyaways here. And then you can see how to even it up and have your own layaway. I do suggest spraying this along if you have trouble with the flyaways. I'm kind of having an issue with the flyaways right now. So spraying it as you are twisting it is ideal also, or adding gel. essentially now some of you are gonna be like well Amanda she has a freaking ponytail in the back I know and actually I'm probably gonna cut that right now as we as we speak you can cut that um, 
to kind of wrap around her head. Um, I've seen some people ponytail it. I have ponytailed it before and kind of left a little pon ponytail there or I've stuck it up into the wig if you're really uncomfortable with um, cutting wigs. That works. Um, but yeah, this is the classic Princess Leia wig. All right guys, yep, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a very simple tutorial. You can play around with it, style it all you want. If you really don't like the clip look, you can try taking it out and doing the exact same method. I just like the clips on there because it holds the whole style together. It's really, really nice and I think it's highly advisable. But as the norm per usual of most of my tutorials, I will link all of the styling stuff that I do for Leia down in the links below. If you guys have any, any questions about Leia, art of wigs, styling other Leia wigs, if you have pre-existing ones, let me know. I will help you work out through this. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. I love doing con vlogs and con tutorials. If you have something you really want to see, let me know in the links below and I will try to do my best. I have tons of costumes coming out. You guys really, really love all my stuff. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Follow me on all my social medias on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. I think I'm on a Tumblr. I tried Twitch at one point. I don't know. There's so many. <laughs> but anyways, thanks you guys for following this tutorial and good luck and may the force be with you.